Maybe you know this feeling of just creating a loop and it sounds super cool and you were super inspired, but then suddenly you feel stuck as soon as you try to put it into some sort of arrangement or make like a whole song out of it. That's why in this video I want to share some approach with you of how to create arrangements that I find particularly fun and I hope you do as well because that's already the major part of it. It's fun and it includes the element of surprise because what I think is most important when you're trying to create some arrangement out of a loop is that you put yourself in a situation where there's at least a chance of surprising yourself. And before we start, let me quickly say hi. My name is Janis and on my channel you can find videos about music production and performance. And in case you'll enjoy this video, you're already warmly invited to later drop by at my channel as well. So when it comes to creating arrangements, I'm a huge fan of making sure that you spend the least amount of possible time actually listening to the music. I feel like there are just a few things as draining as listening to the same loop of music over and over, even if it's in different variations, which is why you should be very careful with on what kind of things you spend your energies. And I think it doesn't come as a surprise that this approach will not be about randomly dragging your loops around. Instead, I ask you to just pick a piece of music that you really like and here you should pick something that is also similar in terms of some loop based music so it shouldn't be some prog rock track with like 10 different parts but more something especially like an electronic music where you have like the main theme and the main groove but then the magic comes from kind of how it is arranged and at what time things change, come in, come out and all those things. So I for example really like doing this with the music of Boards of Canada or Bicep because they often just have a basic loop but they just do very very great things with it and it never gets boring. And then I suggest grabbing a piece of paper and also some markers or just something that can create different colors because we're going to create some graphic visualization of the arrangement. And I mean you can do it on your computer as well but some Sometimes I feel if there's a chance that you can do something without the computer and include some handwriting and some notes, it's a little more charming, but of course that's just personal and totally up to you. In order not to get some copyright strike, I'm not going to use, for example, some Bots of Canada or Bicep Tune for this, but I just picked something from the royalty-free pool of YouTube music and I mean it's not my favorite tune, but I made sure that it's something that is obvious so you can really see how this works. As the first step, just listen to the song and write down all the elements that are clear to you. So if you can hear drums, if you can hear bass, it doesn't have to be too detailed, it's just about what you can hear. So if we would start this tune here, it's some sort of sequence, so if we write down sequence and we give it a color, for example purple. Let's continue. Okay, so there's some type of vocal melody, I'd call it melody for our example. And we also give it a color, in this case green. And also we heard that some bass is coming in, so we can also add the bass already and let's just give it orange. And I'll just forward a little to make this a bit faster because at some point there are some drums coming in. So you also write it down and let's give it the color yellow. And then also at some point there's some sort of pad or some type of chords and we can also write it down and give it the color blue. And I think that's enough already, I don't want to make it too long, it's enough to demonstrate this to you on the first one, one and a half minute of the song. And now you basically draw some horizontal timeline and you can add the timing but you don't have to, I'm not going to do it for this example. And then you're going to make some lines for... Yeah, just what part comes in when. So you have some sort of arrangement view like you have in your door. Because you see we already attached colors and since you can also add colors to the parts in your door, it will be really easy to actually transfer this to your song. And for the first one and a half minutes it looks like this. And you can see all those five parts come in and out at certain points. It's really individual and up to you how you want to design this. So I just liked to make those simple lines and for example this melody sometimes comes a little before the actual end of the bar or this typical four bar structure. So I just decided to make some dots but again that's totally up to you. And sometimes there are stops so I made those two vertical strokes but again you don't have to do this, I just found it helpful here. And we could perfectly copy this to our door now but we're going to make one more round of listening because now we just have the kind of what happens when thing on the timeline. But also the sounds change in their tone of color and the timbre. So sometimes they're a little brighter, sometimes they are duller. And one thing that I find helpful for that is that you make thicker stripes when it's kind of a brighter sound and thinner stripes if it's a thinner sound. And also 
in addition to that, I suggest making some notes. But then also what I liked is making this little increase in the base, as you can see there in the end, to just anticipate that there, for example, the filter is opening and the sound changes. And you can just come up with your own types of visualizations. That's just something I found cool. And I also just want to play those first one and a half minutes for you so you can read my little score visualization and see if it makes sense to you together with the music. And now all you need to do is copy this to your DAW and you just have to copy the colors you used for your visualization. Now for the tracks inside your DAW, which is great about DAWs because it's so kind of color dominated. And then you just arrange it in the same way. I particularly suggest that you make copies of those parts that you see change. So for example, with the drums, we have a clip like full beat and I'm going to call it full beat because that's the one we had already, but then there's also this version where there's no hi-hat. So for the other clip, we just delete the hi-hat and call it no hi-hat. So we have this loop already and can, oh, what the hell? <laughs> uh, quickly do this. So we have this loop already and you can just insert it into your arrangement. And the same counts, for example, for the bass. So you can copy it and in Ableton, you can also add automation to clips, which is super great because here I use yeah, some sound of Arturia's analog lab. And then I just double click on this clip and go to the automation window and just choose, for example, brightness. And if we solo this and listen, we can perfectly bring it down and now have two different clips because this one is now the open sound. This one is the more closed sound. And actually you can also think of maybe decreasing the decay a little, so it's also a bit shorter, but, and don't forget to name them, of course. So this is like bright bass, otherwise you get confused. And let's say filtered bass, whatever you find comfortable is words. And that's cool because this way you can already insert them into your arrangement still without having to listen to it because Again, we want to keep ourselves from listening to it too much because if you can manage to not really listen to it until you have a structure, you will get this instant sensation of listening to a piece of music actually for the first time because now you listen to the song you picked. Maybe you forgot for a while even what you were worried about with your song. And this way, things won't be perfect but at least you can put yourself into this type of listener position and hear a structure already and notice what works and what doesn't work. And I just quickly attach the right colors, copy the arrangement, and then we can already listen to it. By the way, if you're also interested in just finding more interesting chords or learn about them or also on how to make your music rhythmically more exciting, be warmly invited to check out my Skillshare profile. There you can find some in-depth classes, for example, about jazz harmony or rhythm that will just give you way more knowledge about what you can use and how you can make your music more exciting. And there's a link down below in the description with which you can access Skillshare one month for free. Just try those classes, see if they are for you and otherwise just cancel without any strings attached. And that's how it looks like. And you can compare it to the drawing. I think there are some similarities. We don't have the thick and thin lines, but 
these are kind of our automations and you can see for example when I was saying there's this interlude I wanted to send in some reverb and then also on the base you can actually see it well like the brightness also there's one swell just forgetting the first idea I didn't listen to it and yeah apart from that like with the sequence it's also sometimes changing in brightness then the no hi-hat part the full beat and that's kind of everything we could do for now and before finally listening to the song once more don't expect it to be perfect it will be weird and awkward at some points but still try to listen to it closely and just notice things that work and things that don't work in terms of the arrangement and then adjust because then you already have something to work with. It's not like you're overwhelmed and have to do everything from scratch. You already see where this can go to. And if you don't like it at all, you can also just change the colors but still remain the same system. So you change drums for sequence, for example, things like that. There's a lot of space for creativity, but all inspired by some actual piece of music you like, where you know it has worked. And also just copying the arrangement is so great because there's no copyright on the arrangement. Like, if you use exactly the same arrangement, nobody will notice if you have some other melodies and types of elements inside your music. So you can't really copy arrangements. So that's a great chance to actually take away some great stuff from music you like without copying it. And all your kind of individual stuff comes from your melodies, rhythms, chords, etc. All right, let's just listen and see what happens. Okay, that's kind of a cool change. There could have been some little bass swell before this stop, but also this is kind of cool. Let's see what happens now. I think it could be exaggerated more. It still sounds a little too mild, but there's potential as well. Okay, that's actually also nice how the chords come in here. And I think some of those transitions actually have some great potential and of course now you can dive in deeper and just adjust those to your taste. But this is already way better than some just randomized kind of concept of how you put the loops together. There are little swells and maybe this interlude part still sounds a bit weird. But again, now you get way more to actually work with and way more responses also emotionally to the music. You can actually now interpret and just see in which direction you want to follow them further. You're warmly invited to share in the comments down below if you could make this technique work for a song that you particularly like and also be even more warmly invited to share what song that is because it's always great I think for people to just have some inspirations on where there's some particularly great arrangement. If you're interested in more content there's a playlist here where you can find more tips and tricks on how to just express yourself creatively with the door and generally electronic music and apart from that I wish you inspiration with whatever it is that you create and hope to see you soon again at this channel. Bye!